morning, everyone. So welcome to the 2019 NASA KSC Honor Awards Ceremony. So as you know, today is about celebrating the, the many accomplishments from, from our workforce here at Kennedy Space Center. And it takes a team of people behind them, so not only those here that are being honored in the room today, but the entire workforce that, that is behind everyone that helps us accomplish all that we do here at the Space Center. So our, our center was named you know, after a president who challenged and inspired Americans to lead a new space frontier. And today we continue to launch successful science missions for our agency, as well as continuing the human space flight exploration that is ongoing today at the International Space Station. We're also working diligently to return to the lunar surface by 2024. NASA's new lunar exploration program, or Artemis, will make that possible. Aptly named after the goddess of the moon in Greek mythology, Artemis was the twin sister of Apollo and represents our next generation of exploration. So NASA, we're up for the challenge. And you know we're very much charged with getting our next astronauts, the first woman and next man, down to the surface of the moon. And we're very excited about that opportunity that we have at this agency and at this space center. To make that happen, we have a series of missions that are going to take place between now and 2024. Artemis 1 will be the first launch of our space launch system, the SLS rocket, along with the Orion space capsule that will carry our crew. That launch will be an unmanned test flight for us to, to work out the system, make sure everything is right, and proceed as we move forward. Second, we've got Artemis 2, which will be the first manned test flight of that, mi of that spacecraft and, and launch system going to the moon. So that will circle the moon and get us back out there, be the first human space flight spacecraft in the 21st century to go out to the moon. And then we have a series of missions that will take place to assemble a gateway in orbit, two missions that will put together a, a lunar orbiting platform that is the base camp to allow us to get down to the surface, and another handful of missions to bring the technologies, aggregate the human lander, and bring the supplies necessary to enable our crew to go down and, and explore the surface of the moon with Artemis 3 in 2024. You know, going back to the moon is a, a big giant leap for mankind. And, and doing so is going to open up the door for us to explore new technologies, invigorate our country, and, and drive us to move forward and explore again. KSC is, is imperative in making that happen. Everything we do here at this Space Center, from exploration ground systems, launch services, ISS, commercial crew, and all the support that makes all those, those programs happen is critical for us bringing this forward. But today is about the honorees. Today is about celebrating the workforce and all that everyone does above and beyond to make that happen. You all represent the best of the best at Kennedy Space Center and all the support that goes behind that to make that happen. So as we thrive in this challenging and innovative environment, we want to recognize the knowledge, skills, and innovation that you all bring to this workforce going forward. And I was thinking yesterday as I was preparing for this, you know, my favorite part of every one of these award ceremonies is there's always a child in the audience that when they get to see their mom or dad walk across the stage, gets really excited and usually blurts out their name. I'm looking around, I don't see one yet today, but I'm gonna challenge whoever's out there in the audience, make <laughs> sure you, you represent when you see mom or dad walk across that stage because what we do here is very critical in inspiring the next generation and we hope to see you as our future astronauts moving forward as we go to the moon. So at this time, I'd like to, to share a glimpse of how you and your hard work and contributions are the stepping stones for our next giant leaps at NASA and the Kennedy Space Center. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. NASA is building the infrastructure for expanding human exploration into the solar system. And the Space Launch System rocket and Orion spacecraft are the backbone of our exploration plans. This generation of Americans knows that it is America's destiny to be the leader amongst nations on our adventure into the great unknown. America will return to the moon within the next five years, and the next man and the first woman on the moon will be American astronauts. American astronauts will return to the moon aboard the Orion, and they'll return with new ambitions. We will spend weeks and months, not days and hours, on the lunar surface. This time, we're going to the moon to stay. We go with the same resolve and determination of those who have gone before, and we go with faith. Faith in the courage of this new generation of astronauts, men and women of the character and caliber of those who have gone before. They are remarkable pioneers. 
who will carry American leadership into space. That America will lead in space once again. And this nation will, once again, astonish the world with the heights we reach and the wonders we achieve. You were watching it, you know, you got to see everything that KSC is, is involved in. And when I look at everything that we're doing, I mean, there's, there's hardly anything that NASA does that KSC is not a part of. We make NASA successful. And coming here today, you know, this is one of the most fun things that I get to do. It's, it's one of the best parts of my job, being able to honor and recognize all of you for your hard work and achievements that make KSC such a great place to be. Uh, I think you all know this, you know, for seven years in a row, NASA has been number one in the uh, federal government as the best place to work, all right, on the Employee Viewpoint Survey. In this last year, of the 10 NASA centers, KSC was the number one center, all right? Exceptional Engineering Achievement Medal. This prestigious medal recognizes both government and non-government individuals for exceptional engineering contributions towards achievement of the NASA mission. Reggie Martin for demonstrating exceptional engineering and leadership abilities during the design, development, and deployment of the KSC ground control subsystem at KSC.